Hi, this is saying Today I would like to share the pre-calculus topic, the inverse function. So if f a is equal to b, then when we reverse, we should get back a. And we have to bear in mind that the inverse function is not the reciprocal of the function. Example 11 determine the inverse of the following functions. So what we have to do here is we make use of the idea when we go from home to school, then we reverse from school, we will get back to home. So if I have the function f and I compensate with the inverse function, with the unknown x, then we should go back to x because the function f and the inverse will offset each other. So which means that we left only x. Then what is f? f is equal to 2, 3x minus 2. Now the x here should replace with the inverse, which means that we have to substitute the inverse here. Then we have 3 inverse function x minus 2 is equal to x. So we have, and we just do the normal linear algebra, then we have x minus 2 move over become plus 2, times 3 move over become divide 3, which means that the inverse is equal to x plus 2 over 3. Then we done. We have to bear in mind that the inverse function can never be the not necessarily is equal to the reciprocal. So as you can see, if we take the reciprocal, then we should have 1 over 3x minus 2. So this is not the same as the inverse function. So this one we have to bear in mind. Okay, then for example B, we use the same idea here. Then we have f, f inverse is equal to x. Then we substitute fx, f inverse x into the function fx. So we have 3 inverse minus 2 over 2 inverse plus 1. is equal to x. Then what we have to do next is we take the cross multiplication. We can take x over 1. Then we do the cross multiplication. So we have 3 inverse x minus 2 is equal to x times 2f inverse plus 1. Then we expand, remove the bracket. 3 inverse x minus 2 2 x f inverse x plus x again okay, next what we have to do here is the part the term with inverse function move to the left hand side the term that without the inverse function move to the right hand side so the one with the inverse function we have to put them in the same side so on the left hand side so we have 3 negative 1 3 inverse x then plus 2 become minus 2 x f inverse x okay then this one is on the right hand side remain positive this is on the left but we're going to move to the right so negative become positive then we factorize the f inverse out so we have 3 minus 2x equal to x plus 2. Then from here, we can conclude that the f inverse is equal to x plus 2 over 3 minus 2x. Then we done. Okay, example 12. What we have to do is determine the inverse of f and also the inverse of g. So fx is equal to 
square root of 4 minus x then we use the same idea that we learned just now when we take the function and composite with the inverse we should get back x then we substitute into the function f using the inverse function so 4 minus inverse x is equal to x then we rearrange we square both sides when we square both sides square root and square offset each other left only 4 minus f, f inverse equal to x square then rearrange what we want is positive which means that we need to move move the negative ne negative f inverse to the right so become positive in other words what we have to do here is move the x square to the left and become negative but remain 4 we shouldn't move the 4 because we move this one to the right then here should not move together so we have the function done okay now we move to gx so g g inverse we make use of the same idea we should have x then what is gx gx is 2x plus 1 but now the x is inverse function plus 1 is equal to x so we rearrange everything then gx should equal to x plus 1 move over become minus times 2 move over become divide so this is the function and we done okay so next now what we have to do here is g composite with the inverse function of f with 5 so we have determined that the inverse function of f is equal to 4 minus x squared now we should have x equal to 5 which means that 4 minus 5 squared 5 squared is equal to 25 so 4 minus 25 is equal to negative 21 then we substitute into the function g g25 is equal to g negative 21 it's not 25 but negative 21 that we obtained just now so we have 2 times negative 21 plus 1 2 times negative 21 is equal to negative 20 42 plus 1 is negative 41 next determine the inverse of gf at x equal to 2 so since the inverse is outside of these two functions which means that we have to obtain the composite function first we have g f x g x is equal to 2 x plus 1 now we substitute g x using f x which means that we have 2 times f x plus 1 what is fx fx is square root of 4 minus x plus 1 okay now we determine the inverse of this then we have gf inverse x also we apply the same idea if we take gf together with the inverse we obtain x back so we substitute x using the inverse function 2 square root of 4 minus we have g f inverse x plus 1 okay then we rearrange move negative uh, plus 1 to the right hand side become minus x minus 1 times 2 over become Two. then square root move forward become square okay so we have 4 minus g inverse f x is equal to the square of x minus 1 over 2 then what we have next is rearrange everything so negative become positive 
move to the right hand side then we have 4 minus x minus 1 over 2 the whole thing square what we want here is when x equal to 2 so we substitute gf inverse 2 equal to 4 minus 2 minus 1 over 2 the whole thing squared so 2 minus 1 is equal to 1 which means that we have 1 over 2 squared 1 over 2 squared is 1 over 4 so 1 4 minus 1 over 4 we obtain 15 over 4 then we done Okay, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this. See you.